So the other day I was chatting with a tree surgeon friend and he said to me, he goes, have you tried the Oregon speed cut nano chain? And I was like, that's a really good point. I haven't. So I thought, do you know what? Let's get on the phone to Oregon and say, let's do a video all about speed cut nano to see what the difference is. Because so many people, professionals and well, domestic people as well, they don't always use the manufacturer stated bars. They want to use something different or non-genuine or other different brands that are on the market. So Oregon is obviously a massive brand in the chainsawing industry and we are supplied with all of their PPE and everything already. So I thought, what a great opportunity to be able to swap some bars and chains over on some saw and to see how we get on. So we have battery saws and we have petrol saws, the still MS201T, the most popular top handled petrol saw of them all. And one of my favorite top handled battery saws, the Husqvarna T540 IXP chainsaw to see how well they'll run on the speaker cut nano. So without further ado, let's check out the kits and see what we've got. Tested by Machinery Nation. So these are the speed cut nano sets. What's included? Let's open the box and find out. So. I did have a quick sneaky peek of how to open these boxes because that's normally the hardest thing, isn't it? Ah, we're in, right. And you can, oh, scan to win. How exciting. And Oregon stickers. I've never seen Oregon stickers before. How exciting is that? They're definitely going on the toolbox. There's no getting away from it. Who doesn't love a sticker, eh? Awesome. Right, so with Speak Up Nano, you would need to change the sprocket because it comes with a sprocket in the box. There's a little sprocket. There it is, tiny. So that you have to change over, which we'll show you how to do that in a minute. Then you get the speed cut nano chain and the speed cut nano bar. Amazing. But why would you want speed cut nano over what you get as standard on your chainsaw? So firstly, it's got a narrower curve, which means a finer profile, which means it will be cutting a lot quicker, so much faster speed. Secondly, because it's a narrower profile, that means you're gonna have less drag. That means run times on battery equipment is gonna be much better, and on petrol equipment, you're gonna be using less fuel. Also, you're gonna be getting smoother cuts. Because of the design of the chain, you're going to be decreasing the amount of chatter you get as you go through the piece of timber. And the one I'm most excited about is Oregon have designed this for top handle saws, for smaller equipment. And because of that design, you apparently are going to reduce the amount of stalls you're gonna get through a cut, where you see battery saws sometimes going through a piece of wood where it just gets to a bit and then just suddenly stops. Whereas a petrol saw will sort of die back, gives you a chance to go back in again. With these chains, apparently that will not happen, or should we say it will happen a lot less. So that's what we're gonna find out. Right, so first of all, let's go and do some test cuts through the timber with the manufacturer supplied bars and chains, the ones that are already fitted onto them. And then we'll test it with the speed cut nano where we have to change the sprocket. Let's crack on. Right, manufacturer supplied cutting equipment, down, up, down on each saw on this beautiful bit of Leylandi, which we all love. So yeah, let's do that and see how well that cuts. <laughs> Right, so let's change it over for the speed cut nano. And obviously, like I said before, we've got to change the sprocket for this. So let me show you how to do that. I've already taken the clutch cover and bar and chain off. I hope to think that you know how to do that already. So it's quite easy. Let's um, get into it. Yeah, so once you've got the bar and chain off, you will find the sprocket in here. You have just got to take out that T27 bolt out of there and then that should just all pop off. So if you put your chain brake on to hold that system, otherwise there's no other way to hold it that I'm aware of. Use me Milwaukee Impact now and just spin it off and it will just come right off. But obviously, if you don't put your chain brake on, that just spins around for fun. So make sure you remember which order these go into and then pop off your sprocket, sling that to one side, get your Oregon one, there she is. Pop that on, making sure that that washer stays where it is and the right way up because it is a beveled washer. Make sure that stays in there. Sprocket goes that way around, onto there. Back on with your beveled washer. Little washer on top of that. Screw this one in. Tighten back up with your impact. To, I don't know, 85 newton meters? I have no idea. FT, there we go. Bang on, right, let's bang the bar and chain on and see how we go on. And for the still, obviously you've got a different type of clutch system on this compared to you have on the battery saw. I have already taken the bar and chain and clutch cover off, so that's now out of the way. I've pulled the spark plug, 
Put some rope in the end of the piston so you're blocking the piston. If you don't know about that, YouTube how to use a piston stop. You can get plastic ones and genuine ones. Just a bit of starter rope does the same job. Now bearing in mind, this does actually come off the way you wouldn't think it did. You'd think it would come off anti-clockwise, but it doesn't. This is a left-handed thread on here. So again, on with the impact and it's off. Simple as that. Clutch there and then you take your clutch drum off, which is also your sprocket on this. You've got a roller needle bearing in there, so don't lose that. Sometimes that comes out with the sprocket. So just make sure that stays on there like so. You can actually inspect that while you're there to make sure it's all okay. I know that one's fine. So pop that to one side, grab your new one, which looks like so. Pop that onto there, boom. <gasps> Look at that. On with your clutch, again, left-handed thread. So lefty tighty, righty loosey. On with there, still with your rope in your cylinder. <laughs> Bang on. Right, you pull your rope out, put it all back together, and off you go. So while I was doing that, it is absolutely pissed down and rain out here, so well happy about that, because I left my helmet out. And now I have a pond. I'm sure we've all done that a time or two, eh? Anyway, I've now put the Speedcut Nano bar on the Husqvarna and on the steel. Let's see if there's any difference. <laughs> So there, that is the test of the comparison between standard cutting equipment on these two saws and the Speed Cut Nano. So let's now put them both up against each other on the screen so you can see the exact times like for like. Let's do it. <laughs> So yeah, the good news is, you know, this test was to show you how amazing the Speed Cut Nano was, or possibly, and yeah, to be fair, it is quicker on that one, but then there's lots of variables, isn't there? This is about as scientific as it really isn't, is it? You know, I'm not exactly doing accurate tests here, and to be fair, on that first cut on the still, I missed that second cut upwards a little bit, as I saw in the video, didn't even notice it when I'd done it, and also noticed that my chain was a little bit slack compared to the other tests, but there we go, this is what happens. But Speed Cut Nano, I really like it. The one thing I have noticed is, to be fair, does it really matter how quick you're cutting? Probably not, but smooth, definitely. Really, really smooth. Like you said, about that chatter you get in a cut when you're there on a, especially battery saws, you notice it more because you haven't got the noise. But with battery saws, you just hear that, you feel that bit of a chattering going on. Speed Cut Nano completely eliminates that. So if you've ever not bought a battery saw, if you used a battery saw before, it's thinking, actually, I don't like them because of that issue, which I would definitely say is probably one of my pet hates about battery saws. That Speed Cut Nano changes that. You then get a nice smooth cut and that's exactly what it's been designed for. So yeah, well, happy with the Speed Cut Nano. I definitely recommend it, really, really like it. And I'm not just saying that because I've got, oh, I've got the wrong fleece on. It's supposed to say Machinery Nation, doesn't. Anyway, I've got two jobs, obviously. I'm not saying it because we're, we get supplied stuff by Oregon, although they have sent all this stuff to me. They're not actually paying for it, they just send it to me to use, which is fair enough. And yeah, so no, I like it, it's really good. Also, obviously do like the still Light 04 bars and the PS3 Pro chains, and I like the Husqvarna bars and their 325 mini chain. But smooth-wise, definitely the Speed Cut Nano from Oregon. That is definitely the smoothest chain I've used so far to date. So yeah, make up your own minds what you like, and um, yeah, please click subscribe, please like, please share, please do everything we can to make this channel bigger and better and all of that jazz. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.